That's all right. <laughs> Marco Dreadful Gambino here. How is everybody? It is the 4th of September, the day after my fight on TMA Fight Series. And uh, yes, I can tell you all, I successfully, successfully won that fight. The reason I say it like that, I've always wanted to have a leg kick finish. I'll just watch it. I'll yeah, let's let's watch it together. Um so let me just get it up. It's been edited once again, I've got two angles, so pew, pew, chop chop. But uh yeah. So putting it from the start. Working. I dropped two knees in. That's a, that is something I need to work on. I, I do throw knees like it's my side sometimes. But there's there's the leg kick. Now the ref did come over and he did have a bit of a thing, he was like because you're not supposed to attack joints specifically. But uh, yeah, so he was a bit, there was a bit of a warning there of like, okay, that one looked like it may have come in at the knee joint, try and bring it up a bit more. I knew it was exactly where I wanted to land it. And that is on your tendon of your quad. Because that's where I am, I don't need to hit your knee joint. I'm aiming for the connective tissue. So there's a front kick, for, uh, what's it called? Frame myself out, throw another leg kick, exact spot again. But yeah, same ref as the one on the Connell fight as well. Same guy, he's a good, good, good dude. Pop the jab out, work that cross. Now I'm just kind of like, right, let's just get in his face. Big body kick, very big body kick. Hold him in there, front kick, pop, pop. Really tight guard on him, to be fair. And I was trying to pop through, but I just thought, you know what? I'll just keep my hands in his face, and then I'll just leg kick him in a second, and then whoop, bang, there we go. <laughs> Job done. And it's waved off. So, with that, I think, I think um, obviously, there's not too much to really break down on that one um, I think it's kind of a, a feeling more than anything obviously now I'm five in so it's five into my seven fight goal and I think more than anything I want to cement as much of a fighter's legacy as possible but it's not for the fame it's not for belts it's not for cash I don't give a fuck about any of that stuff I have a an internal mission um, when it comes to martial arts and all of the training and everything that I do leading towards it, all of my philosophies, all of my meditation, and uh, it all comes in the line of this final end goal of, of development through my martial arts. I think in that kind of situation where it is a surefire, just right, well, this is it now. And you know from the very beginning, it takes away a bit. And I think that's probably what it kind of is. I already knew I was gonna win, so there was no point dragging it out. And in that aspect of wanting the challenge, feeling the challenge, like I enjoy the fight, like I really enjoy it. I've got another one that I will do a breakdown of. Um, it was my fight with Yanis Dashnex. Uh, I hope I said your name right. Um, but the Viking, he's from Burton Kickboxing Academy. Um, I fought him back in, I think it was April. Um, that was a real war. That was a real war. And I think I wanted something like that again. I wanted another proper scrap, someone who can hurt me. And in all fairness, the lad, when I, um, that bit when I framed out, he caught me with a nice right hook. But that was the one thing that he managed to land. And I think I, I, think I wanted that extra pressure again. The thing is though, when you start throwing leg kicks, people either check them and fight them, or they become nervous, and if you start popping them with enough, you can just break a spirit with it. So um, I think one thing that I'm kind of gonna brush off on this is the philosophy going in had been kind of to test myself. I had said to myself, right, seven leg kicks around, um, and that was kind of my game plan to make sure that I had them in and kicked them in, throw them, threw them in accurately, threw them in active and kind of like my own little game in my head to distract myself throughout. Um, but one thing that I have, I said it to a bunch of the lads as well, 
Um, some of them before their fights. Ah, what happened to my voice there? <laughs> some of them before their fights, some of them throughout the week. And um, it's about being conscious in that moment because lives are, we can look at our lives as past, present, future, but no matter what, everything is moment by moment by moment by moment. You are watching this moment by moment by moment by moment. Be present in the moment because if you can win every moment, you can win every fight. And that is essentially, I kind of came in and did it, but it's it's the mantra I'm, I'm trying to move in with because conscious action versus unconscious reaction is another side of that same coin. And um, what I mean by that, so say for example, you're late for work, very easily relatable one. Uh, anyone's been late for work at some point. When you get up and you realize, oh shit, I've missed my alarm, and you're rushing around and you're doing everything, everything that you then do from that period of time that you've accessed that first task with stress, with that initial focus being, I'm late, rather than, what do I need to do? You're reacting to the scenario and the fact that you're late. Conscious action would be, right, I'm 10 minutes late, but what do I need to do to either make that 10 minutes back or make sure that everything that I am late within, everything that I do now, now that I am late, is now effective and done to the best of the ability. And then that way, when you get there, that being late doesn't matter because you've got everything sorted. You already know that. You're in that conscious state of mind of, yeah, right, cool, I'm 10 minutes late, but everything's sorted and ready. 10 minutes makes not much. That 10 minutes makes no difference. So on that same aspect of doing it in the fight game, you have to be able to set your plan, set your will. Your will has to be the one that lasts the longest. Your will has to be the one that breaks theirs. Otherwise, it is it is what it is. Um, you've, if you're consistent, and, and we can all be reactive. Uh, and in all fairness, I think my fight with Connell, because of how fast he kind of was and, and came out with the, with the way that he was pressuring, I went through bouts of conscious action, but then unconscious reaction. And yeah, you can react and respond, and you have to, like I said, be within the moment. But there is a presence with knowing how to respond. And that in the way of like, it's almost like leading a dance. Like if you know how this person's going to move, what is your 50th move gonna be? Do you know what I mean? Like if you see this person does something off this, then right, okay, I'm going to work this, work these attacks, work these techniques, work my, this footwork, do this to make you do that so that when I decide to, I will do this to finish it completely. And that is essentially what the the breakdown of this is. So actually, do you know what? I got a, I, I think I've got a decent breakdown out of this, actually. So uh, <laughs> I think it's a bit more of a, a philosophical one, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's short, but I hope you enjoyed it either way. Um, I am very happy with my performance on it, and I've come away quite fresh. Just a little bit of a a little bit of a hangover from the celebrations, but still, all in all, I feel good. So... Um, yeah, I think next one I am looking um, to jump in very soon. I've seen some stuff this morning that I'm, it's making me debate some plans. Hmm. On an international stage, but uh, we'll see. That's it's one of them, one of them. I'm not going to throw all the cats out of the bag because I haven't made any decisions. It's the day after the fight, the morning after the fight, which you woke up like two hours ago. But um but yeah, sounds. I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm probably going to do a little editing now and edit together a bunch of videos of my favorite leg kicks. <laughs> I think that'll be a fun one. And uh, yeah, so take care, guys. Peace out. <laughs> Oh, look at Marco! Nice work! Go on, Marco! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>